Surfshark account dashboard gets a nice overhaul. Windows app adds some neat small changes and Surfshark's Linux app is now available on the Snap Store. Let's discuss. Also, if you're looking to snag a good deal for Surfshark, then check out the first link in the description of this video, as there you'll find a coupon code called SharkTube, which will give you two free additional months when renewing Surfshark or buying a new subscription altogether. What's up guys, welcome to Surfshark Academy. Let's get started right away by talking about this Surfshark account page overhaul. It has been completely transformed to suit the new Surfshark colors and has also added a few new things as well. So at the very top, you'll now find your subscription duration in the number of days left. And just below that, you'll see which subscription bundle you have, either VPN, Surfshark One or Surfshark One Plus. In addition, you'll now see a feature view of what you can do with each Surfshark tool. This is nice because, well, Surfshark has a ton of privacy and security features. So this is a great way to see how they can enhance your online safety. Skipping ahead, there's also a section for Surfshark's dedicated IP, which you should definitely consider if you're getting tired of seeing Google captchas or cannot access IP sensitive websites. And going even further, you'll find one stop shop for setting up Surfshark on all of your devices, as well as quick access to the Surfshark help center page in case you have any issues with your VPN or other tool not working. And going to the very bottom, you'll find the refer a friend option where you can get additional free months of subscription for any friends you refer to Surfshark, which you definitely should because Surfshark is totally awesome. Surfshark Windows app also got an update. Now with version 5.6, you'll be able to log in with a QR code, just like on other Surfshark apps. But one more notable change is for the antivirus. And that's the fact that now in the right click Windows menu, you'll see this context item where you can scan files with Surfshark antivirus. It makes it easy to scan whatever you download off the internet or just random files from like a USB thumb drive or whatever. Also, if you don't like updates for whatever reason, then now if you click the remind me later button, it will take a bit longer before this update reminder pop-up appears. But of course, it's always recommended to have the latest updates installed for the best experience. Surfshark's Clean Web 2.0 got better at blocking ads. Make sure to update your browser extension now available on both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge to enjoy these new changes. And if you're having any issues with any particular website, then the new report button from the last update will help Surfshark team fix those issues ASAP. Surfshark Linux app has officially become available on the Snap Store. So now if you go to snapcraft.io and search for Surfshark, you'll be able to find the app here and install it super easily on supported distros, which is really nice. Now, obviously, if you're a seasoned Linux user, you may know that the Snap Store isn't exactly perfect by any means, and it would be way better to have Flatpak support. Unfortunately, as of recording this, we don't have any updates on when that's coming, but I can assure you that it is slowly but surely being worked on. I'll definitely do an update video when that eventually drops, so stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Finally, Surfshark has released the 2023 annual wrap up. It's essentially a big giant news blog from Surfshark summarizing last year. And it's actually pretty cool and includes a word from Surfshark CEO, as well as a quick overview of various Surfshark updates. There's also fun facts mentioned like, hey, did you know that Surfshark partnered up with Mr. Beast, one of the largest YouTube channels in the world? I mean, that was pretty awesome. But my favorite part is that you can also get to hear a word from people behind Surfshark projects, which I personally really appreciate. Because behind each update, there are actual teams working to bring you the best Surfshark experience possible. And now it's time for a new segment on our videos, and that's the tip of the day, where I'll show you perhaps a less known feature or aspect of Surfshark that you need to know about. For this one, I wanted to highlight this button available on both Surfshark Windows and Android apps. It's sort of tucked away next to the search bar, but it'd be extremely useful for finding the perfect VPN server based on your connection. Upon pressing it, the app will display latency next to each location. The lower the number, the more stable and faster your connection should be. And obviously servers that are closer to your physical location will perform best. But it's not always the case since some servers by nature will be more busy. So again, by clicking this button, it will help you find the server with the lowest ping value and get the smoothest connection. And that's your tip of the day for this Surfshark news episode. Before I let you go, let's highlight one of our YouTube community polls where I asked you, should websites allow you to sign up anonymously? This one was quite quite popular getting over 19,000 votes. And unsurprisingly, or surprisingly, over 90% of you answered yes. So, you know, websites today ask for so much information just so you can use them, like your name, your email, your age, your gender, and so on. So it would be nice to have an option where you don't have to provide all of that data. So if you're looking to sign up anonymously on websites today, then you need to check out Surfshark's alternative ID tool that can generate all that information for you, including a whole email address as well. And 
To add to that, Alternative ID is now available across all Surfshark subscription bundles. Go watch this video next to find out all about that. But until then, I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.